Hi everyone, welcome on another Fishy Friday here at Bart's Fishtails and today we're going to make a world famous dish with squid. You can find squid all over the globe. Uh, make sure if you buy it, buy it from a sustainable source. We're going to make a Spanish version which will be calamares a la romana. It will be fried squid to be served with aioli. So we start with the hero. It's calamares. You can find them in small sizes like these, in bigger sizes. I've cleaned them already. Um, and I'm going to use the tentacles too. I'm going to make nice rings. So I cut them like every bit less than a centimeter. So I have some kitchen paper here. And I'm going to add these on the kitchen paper. Another one, a smaller one. So you cut all the squid in nice little rings. You dry it on a piece of kitchen paper. Okay, so clean squid, uh, made in rings. Guys, if you want to know how to clean a squid, let me know in the box below. Uh, and we're going to film it. So kitchen paper on top of it. And now we make sure it's going to be really dry. I put this aside. So while my squid is drying on a piece of kitchen paper, I'm going to make aioli. It's a great sauce. It's actually um, the same technique, more or less, than you make my, as you make mayonnaise. Um, but it's with garlic and it's with olive oil. Okay, so I'm using one uh, clove of garlic and I cut it fine like this. I add it to my pestle and mortar. Add a pinch of salt. So now I'm going to crush it onto a smooth paste. So now I add a bit, like half a teaspoon of Dijon mustard. And it's great for the taste, but it's also great for the, for the binding of the sauce. So I separate one egg and add the yolk to the pestle and mortar. And what I'll do right now is adding drop by drop some nice olive oil. And you see it's going to bind. So, so if I would add the oil too quickly, uh, the sauce is going to split. You will feel that's going to be harder and harder because the sauce is going to be thicker and thicker. So guys, this is the texture you want to have. It's like mayonnaise. And really important, if you make sauces or dressings, give it a taste. Wow, love it. So I put it aside and we continue with the squid. We're going to make a nice crispy and light batter, like how they do it in Spain. It's really, really simple. So the first step is like 300 grams of flour. So one, one and a half teaspoon of baking powder. And we use some sparkling water. And actually, what we want to um, have is like a light batter. It, it should be a bit liquid. So actually, if we use like 300 grams of flour, you would use like 340 mils of sparkling water. And now a simple but delicious trick. This is what I learned in Spain. They add like a bit of lemon zest to it. Adding a bit of salt to season it. So take up the, the top sheet of paper, add some salt on the calamares. Okay, so the batter is finished. Take out my whisk and I'm going to add the rings into the batter. So I'm using groundnut oil, bring it to a temperature of 180 degrees Celsius. So now it's time to add the calamares into the oil. So I deep fry them for like two minutes each side and turn them around halfway until they become like golden brown. They get nicely caramelized or a ni caramelized color. And I drain them on a piece of kitchen paper. So beautiful fried squid, nice golden brown. Um, now it's time to plate it up together with the aioli. So first the aioli. I add this into a small bowl. It's like being in Spain. I love Spain, I love the food, the simplicity and the real taste of seafood. This is calamares a la romana with aioli. Time for a taste. Sprinkle a bit of lemon juice on it. A nice piece of calamares and some aioli. Mm. Wow, this is great. This is crispy and crunchy from the outside. The calamares are really soft and tender. Uh, from the inside. It's a great summer dish, maybe as a starter, 
uh, maybe as a snack. If you have any comments, please leave them down in the box below. Um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel for more beautiful seafood recipes and hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.